the secret stash. Today we're doing a make a lift. Torsadoro. Torsadores? Not sure. Let's get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends to blow on the budget. Here we have like those budget friendly cigars as well as those premium sticks. It appears on everybody's wish list. Today we're blowing up make a lift. Right off the bat, we're getting up a little bit of leather. A little heat on the retro hill, but. There's a natural sweetness that happens with this introduction. Not sure what this is all about, but we're gonna get through this whole stick with you. So let's look at the construction. The Mikalef Torcedores is a six by 52 box press torpedo. You know how I like those box presses. This is a mild to medium strength cigar with a San Andreas Sumatra wrapper. The binder is from Honduras and the fillers come from Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, and Peru. Considered by most as the brand's bargain line, the Torcedoras brings smooth notes of cedar, dried fruit with a distinctive spice. This is a budget friendly stick at just $4. Well, we're just getting into that first third deep into it. I'm getting a little nuttiness. The sweetness is still there. Leather is kind of coming and going in regards to strength. This is classified as a mild to medium. So for those that like the lighter side of bold, this might be one to try. Cat Williams World War III arrives on Netflix to mix reviews. I don't know about you, but I didn't do too much laughing. I was expecting another Pimp Chronicles. Seeing as though we hadn't seen them since 2018. It's been a long time, Cat. So we was hoping that you had some material worth gut busting and talking about. But here I am talking about your ass. And it wasn't that funny to me. I wasn't too impressed. It's not Cat Williams in his prime. I think his prime may have come and gone. We might have seen the best of Cat Williams, but I don't want to sell him short. I'm a fan. I think he's funnier than Mike Epps. That's just my opinion. Dave Chappelle in the news again this week. Well, yeah. Got attacked at his own show. Some wannabe rapper trying to make a name for himself had a pistol that wasn't necessarily a pistol it was more like a knife in the shape of a pistol well they beat his ass well y'all I dropped my ash and we are approaching the halfway point through that first third we got a little sweet nuttiness started out with a leather note coming and going back and forth playing on your palate very nice flavor play with this McAuliffe Torcedoro not saying it right I know but that's the name right there that's the motherfucking name I'm no professional by any means however I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy as well as those that I don't as far as the McAuliffe Torcedoro, that name right there. This is definitely one to try. Do we add this to the box? In my opinion, it's a little too light. I need a little bit more flavor or a little bit more strength. It is strong, but it's not strong enough. So this would be, again, the lighter side of bold if you were stepping away from the sweet stuff and the cheap stuff. All right, y'all, we're approaching the home stretch. Not quite done with the session, but we are approaching 
nonetheless. We're getting a little chocolate now. Mocha and those baking spices. Can't quite distinguish what I'm tasting right now, but it's kind of like a pumpkin spice, cinnamon, those type flavors, cardamom, those type of uh, fall flavors. Like I said, bath, dead bath and body works. Fall season. Walk in there and take a deep breath. That's what you're going to get out of this. There's a very nice flow to the torpedo style box press. You know how I like those box presses. Retro hell. I speak about it in many of my videos. We puff the stick, you never inhale. You're gonna hold some of the smoke in your mouth until you get a sensation in your tongue and your cheeks. When you feel that sensation, you can release some of the smoke holding the last portion so that can be released through your nose. With some practice, you'll be able to distinguish a more in-depth flavor profile for whatever you've chosen to smoke. Here's a demonstration. That's where the natural wood flavor actually shows its light. It's a little punchy at that point, and I think I may have done too much. Ooh wee. Yeah, I'm starting to salivate real heavy. Uh, my eyes are about to water. Got a tinge in the back of my nose. Mm. Yes. And if you do too much, you may need to spit. Heavy salivation, eyes are gonna water. Boy, that mug got the best of me. It's starting to ramp up a little bit as we get down to this last third. This is starting to become a bust your ass at the last portion. I don't know. Whew. We can finish this one out. Because he just changed. It started out really nice, flavorful, nice transitions, but now. Goodness gracious. Coming down to the home stretch, y'all. Right now, in the last third, I'm really getting a lot of woodsy, uh, like a smoked oak type flavor now. Being more pronounced in the bottom of the stick. Like I said, this is a mild to medium classification, but with the ramping, <laughs> this is almost a bust your ass. I'm gonna finish this whole stick out. Like I said, whatever y'all doing in the cigar lifestyle, make sure y'all keep it smoky. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do a swag bag, I said, right? Okay. You see your name? Get at me. Peace out.